Hey guys, Zell here, and welcome back to some more Argonite. Now, contingency contracts are out, but I also haven't even edited and or uploaded the second half of Code of Brawl, so this is going to be a while before this is seen. I really need to get to editing that and uploading it. Oh boy. I'm falling behind, man. So many events and so many gotchas I need to do. <laughs> and we got Roku as our specialist. Now please, can one of these single tags ever actually become a five star? I'm starting to believe that that can never, ever actually happen. It's either freaking white or it's purple. It is never gold. It really sucks. Sniper. Okay, sniper DPS, sure, why not? Actually, guard DPS. That's all I can do right now because I don't really have the plans. Now, joint operation. Targeted operators. We will only be getting, if we get a five star, it's only certain five stars. If it's a six star, it's only one of these four six stars. This is the uh, most guaranteed banner that can possibly be a guaranteed banner in this game so far that I have seen. So we will do all singles and see what we get. Purple. Rupu. We literally just got you, but sure. Alright. Another four star. Sure. This is the third specialist in a row that we've gotten. Yes, I'm counting the other row. Although, technically, we got a medic. Eh, it's fine. All right, catapult. Welcome home. Let's do this. Four star. Deep color. Welcome home again. And now to do singles and for the rest of the six rolls. こんにちは。ゴレイ。僕はグレイと言います。ファイブモーダゴー。ワイ。行動予備隊。エース。オッケー。ポエモー。ポエスター。ファンド。フォルメオ。ウィカンオイズユーズアナザーカピーユー。3
After that silver ash debacle with Mostima, you're giving me two swires on a guaranteed six star of two that I would want. One that I would, wouldn't mind getting and one I really don't want to get again? Really? You gonna do me like that? How many of the five stars were there? I know that there's like maybe five, five stars, maybe six on here. And, I, and, I, and we got Spire twice. That is the saddest thing ever. I like Spire. But I don't ever really use her. Good God, man. And only one five star out of all of this. Really? I should have just took my chances with the other banner. At least then I would have gotten a guaranteed five star. <laughs> And this is the last one. I should have took my chances and possibly maybe got freaking uh, Saudia. I should have took my chances. That right there was the worst pull I possibly could have gotten. On a guaranteed with four freaking six stars. And how many fives are here? Oh my god, we could have got Manticore or Platinum! Are you serious? Out of the five star guarantees! We could have got Manticore, who we did not have. We could have got Platinum, who we did not have. Could have got another Texas copy. I would have been fine with that. Telopsis, not necessarily, or Croissant, definitely not necessarily as well. Manticore, Platinum, new. Texas would have been great, but Spire twice. This game hates me. It absolutely freaking hates me. Was well, because of what I got on freaking FGO. But Pentance for actually getting something good for once on FGO, and my luck is now being taken out in the dumpster. In Arknights. Man, that was the last bit of a rune to my head as well. I, sh I should have literally have just done this. It's a guarantee. I wasn't even guaranteed a five star on that. I could have got Sardia. Albeit, I would have also got Cliffheart. Although, getting blue poison would have been nice. One foot in. But it was still the chance of getting Chen. Or Aefiala. They both have evaded me for so long, and they still evade me. With my luck though, if I did get a six star, I probably would have got the cuck boy to the far left. He's the reason I don't have Mostima. <laughs> oh, God dang it. Well, since, you know, it's been nine minutes already, contingency contracts, why not make myself why not make me hate myself more by uh, reaching out contingency contracts? Catastrophes. Nobody knows when they started occurring, but their ever increasing frequency tore the land asunder. People took refuge within the wisdom of their predecessors, constructing heavens of havens of concrete and steel known as nomadic cities to escape annihilation. However, catastrophes continue to relentlessly hunt all life above the surface, creating suffering that greatly eclipses the impact of the actual catastrophes. Someone has to take on the task of stopping the spread of the catastrophes and of bringing equilibrium to the various city-states that held on only contempt and hatred from one another. Otherwise, we will be powerless to defend ourselves long before the catastrophes tear us apart. You made it, albeit slightly l later than the time we agreed upon. Sorry, we ended up taking a detour. Luckily, Province was here, otherwise, things might have gotten pretty messy. The extent of the rioting that Ryunu has been citing is far greater than what we expected. 
Well, at least we made it here safely. As expected, we at Rhodes Island now have a much greater problem on our hands. In any case, good work, both of you. Hopefully, the fulfillment of this contract will ease some of our pressure. Well, the only ones having trouble securing our supplies. Our contingency contract partners are having a rough time as well. Everyone is praying that someone can rise up to the occasion and revive this stagnating contract system. The whole way here, you are going on and on about how you wished you could do something to ease the burden on the doctor. But that's part of every Rhode Island operator's obje obligations. Sure, sure. In any case, it's not like this would instantly solve all of our problems. As a matter of fact, it's probably closer to the opposite. Shadowbox's destruction triggered a chain reaction across the world, and the sheer volume of this contract is a testimony to the scope of the problem. Even if it's for the sake of securing necessary aid for Rose Island in a timely manner, the sheer danger of these missions is enough to burn out our already exhausted operators. I understand your concerns, but Rhode Island has never had the luxury of being able to take the safest route forward. Furthermore, we aren't even the ones who get to call the shots on these matters. Sorry for interrupting, Doberman. Oh, Doctor and Amia, you two came at a good time. Our instructor and Angelina and Poppins. Thanks for your hard work since you toured back at Rhodes Island. That must mean... That's right, we successfully renegotiated the terms of the contract, and we brought back basically all the contents rele le relevant to the contract as well. Great, that's a ton. Both of you. Great, thanks a ton, both of you. Don't mention it, it's part of the messenger's job description. Now that we have successfully handed all the documents over to Doberman, we have something for the doctor as well. Assuming the doctor has been trusted with this task, right? Mm hmm. We have full confidence in you. And just that, don't feel a need to push yourself too hard, okay? Uh, sure? Oh, Doctor, you might not understand the full extent of the situation yet, right? We know that there are a lot of things you still can't remember. But please understand, we also don't have the time to walk you through everything step by step. Bob and Angelina, thanks again. You two should try to get some rest while you still can. Dr. Amia, come with me. I'll explain contingency contracts to you as we go. Oh, okay. Contingency contracts? What is that? Where should I start? Alright, long story short. Thank you for just going with the short. Contingency contracts are a system independent from any political entity as far as we know. The easiest way to understand it is, is, it is as an independent intelligence exchange mechanism. I don't know why it took me so long to read that. The system allows various organizations or individuals to request various tasks and then forwards them to those who are able to complete these tasks. In the past, completing these contingency contracts have provided Rhodes Island with enough resources to sustain our operations. In other words, they are our important partners. Due to the conflict stirred up by the reunion... The reunion? What the heck am I saying now? We were cut off from the contingency contract network, but we finally managed to re-establish an exchange channel thanks to the work of our messengers. As for the current situation Rhodes Island is in, I'm sure you understand that as well as anyone else. We must carefully consider any benefit that these contingency contracts can bring, no matter how minor. What do the other parties get out of this? Reduce the impact of catastrophes, that was, was the original objective. After all, the contingency contract system was originally established by catastrophe messengers. Even though we only take what we need, the contingency contract system does come with a consistent creed. Everything for the benefit of more lives. They always tell something along the, those lines. I already know what you're thinking. Empty platitudes do nothing but plant doubts and suspicion. There's nothing empty about the cooperation we've had in the past. Now it is Rhode Island that needs a helping hand. Instructor Doberman is right. We don't have many options left at this point. Doctor, these tasks will be extremely difficult. However, is that this the only chance we have at breaking through the deadlock facing Rhode Island? I understand. I'll do everything I can. Thank you, Doctor. Then I'll explain the specific process of taking contract, Instructor. If you don't mind. Doctor, please look here. These are the contracts that we can currently take. Based upon the specific terms set in each task, contingency contract will provide optional contracts for you to choose from. For example, if we are asked to eliminate certain targets, we may encounter enemies with different abilities than normal, and thus to avoid have to adapt our tactics to accomplish our goals. 
There will be lots of con contracts like that, although of course not all of them will necessarily increase the difficulty of the mission. Occasionally, we will receive additional support from the Contingency Contract Network, but to make the task easier. Using support when appropriate is a good thing, but make sure not to lose sight of our objective. Be whether we can call upon support, or Zala will leave empty-handed. Oh, so we can't use supports at all. I don't really ever use supports anyway, so it's fine. Furthermore, we have a certain degree of autonomy when completing contingency contracts. But this does not mean that we have absolute freedom. Our operators are active across many widespread combat fronts, which means that we can take multiple contingency contracts at the same time. However, you should know what that logically means, right? So the contracts will cause conflicts with others. If we try to take on both at the same time, we actually will jeopardize our chances of completing either contract. We must avoid this situation. Of course, carrying out multiple contracts at the same time means that the difficulty of the operation will gradually increase. Without coordination and commanding falls short, the consequences could be disastrous. Don't worry though, I know you can do it. I want to question your abilities because I've witnessed them countless times, however. I need to stress this once again. Missions will have two different difficulty classifications based upon the contents of their contracts, normal and hard. When a combined risk assessment of the co selected contract, also known as contingency level, is 4 or lower, the mission is assessed as normal difficulty. When the contingency level is four, level 7 or higher, the mission is assessed as hard. In some particularly noteworthy operation zones, the contingency level will be even higher. These famous classifications exist to prevent World Talent from taking on unnecessary loot losses when filling contracts. We can't afford to lose any more people. Indeed, however, all of these ratings and levels are produ products of our most basic data prediction models. The lab combat rarely follows the textbook. Anything can happen when it does. Your leadership is the only thing we can count on. Piece of cake, just leave it to me. We won't suffer any more losses. Doctor. I see that you've already decided on your course of action. Province and Angelina already took all the files for our current contract with them. So you should take a look at what's left. Dr. Rhodes Island has been in better shape before, but our trump card is in your hands. I'm expecting great things from you. Don't expect too much. I'm probably going to fail hardcore. Contingency contract. We don't care about who you are or where you're from. Whether you're a force of good or evil, all that matters is what you're capable of. Survive, get the job done, and get paid. Take on more dangerous challenges and earn bigger bounties. That is, if you survive. No matter what disasters await this world, the Contingency Contract Network will always continue to weave the web that never sees the light of day. Everything for the benefit of more lives. Uh, huh. Anything to refresh my Arundum? <laughs> I'm a little depressed about that. So... Lungman outskirts Baron Plaza refreshes in one day. Contingency level will not increase when using additional support. Max HP seals are reduced to 1. What, so that means that if any enemy gets through, our uh, health is 1? All friendly units have minus 50% max HP. Jesus! That's kind of harsh. All friendly units have minus 70% defense. Oh my god! So we obviously have n uh, nothing there. Contingency contract is currently level 3. Level 5, hard. Current contingency level may be too high. Please exercise caution. Natural DP regeneration rate is reduced by 50%. I've dealt with that before. Uh, all enemies gain plus 25% max health. Gain 150% max health, Jesus! Max squad size is reduced to 6 operators. Isn't it usually? Let's try it. Hungman outskirts Baron Plaza. Shoku, kimi ra no kao nante oboete rare nai kedo. Ma, ikou ka. Hajime yo. I was about to say, are you really about to do that to me now, game? Damatiro. 
ちょっとからかってあげようっと悪くない位置取りだね。ことはありません。ラプシスコでジャージ中。ティーユキューブだね。私は。おじいぜ。That was a bit dicey right there, wasn't it? What about we put water there? This is a little bit of a buffer. And yes, I know she can't be healed. It's fine. What's next? We're gonna put Neil right here. Who can be healed by shining, and then she'll be able to heal through water. It's a double tank layered system, and ah, crap, we got a freaking guy that, uh. Can you please? God dang it. This is gonna be a bit of a problem. Next to use your ability. Hey! He took on the challenge. Sky fire, go there. Took on the challenge and we won. How? I don't know. That was getting a little bit dicey towards the middle half of that. Intensity level four. Complete. Good job, everyone. Good job. So now what? I didn't take a contract, though. Complete an operation Baron Plaza in practice mode. Support contract may be used. Complete an operation support contract may be used. Plane operation with a contingency level of at least one in the Baron Plaza. Of at least two. Of at least four. Complete one operation in Baron Plaza using a combination of contracts that include the following. Support contracts may be used. Okay, so all enemies gain 150% max HP is what needs to be done there. And it needs to be at least level 5 to do the next one. Long term, complete an operation at the contingency level of at least 1 in the following site, area 59. Okay. So these ones in the long term can be done at any time. The emergencies are the ones that need to be done within 30 hours and 6 minutes or they get refreshed. So we need to go to level 5 and have a 150% 50 uh, increase. I mean, we didn't really need to use many operators, right? Yeah, we didn't really use many. In terms of what we used, we used Telopsis, Shining, Lapland, Quarter, Nero, Shiryuki, and... Oh, crap. Hexia. Yeah, we used about eight. I might have to rework this, but now that I know that no enemies actually legitimately ever go to the left. And since we have normal DP regen, this should be fine, right? Because now we're just going to six. Although, uh. Contingency level 12. 
This seems like it would be a bloody freaking nightmare to actually do for level 12. So currently... Let's just do the 6 and see how we, uh, fare. Then maybe we'll jump to 12. Pretty hot out. This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> I can already tell it. it's gonna be a freaking nightmare. But Texas said so that she won't get hit by, you know, the caster for now. But Exia, right here. Here, we'll over there. Actually, he's already for now. Shining, go there. Sword Rain. Shiryuki, go there. As long as we have a healing tank and a healer on our healing tank, we should be fine, right? And put left lane right there. Yeah, but actually I have a, the wrong ability on shining right now. Fine. Did you use the ability? Come on, fool! This is going to get really, really freaking ridiculous, I can already tell, on higher freaking con... con uh... Stuff! Contingency contract level. Contingency yeah. ability. Texas, you joy. Shining, you joy. Should you keep joy? They have way too much health, man. They have way too much freaking health. And now they're coming from the bottom. Now they're here. That's the usual ability. Well, there goes left land. Yep, we lost. Oh, Jesus. And it doesn't take any sanity as well. I forgot about that point. So we can try these as many times as we freaking want. How about Vulcan? Who will occasionally go down to two and can actually help with damage. Hopefully this will work out. Hopefully. It might not. Also Shining, uh, I want you on that ability right there thank you very much and let's go I'll skip back to where we were last time never mind we lost instantly <laughs> all right we're technically at the same part again and we lost of course yeah Vulcan can't do this she may have the damage, but not being able to be healed is really not good. Oh my god. This is really freaking ridiculous right now. Please, for the love of god, do it. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Yes, come on! The Frito! Damage it, please! <laughs> My god! Holy crap! We did it! Contingency level 6 complete! <laughs> oh my god! Screw that! We did it with only 6 operators! I arguably probably should have had an AoE healer instead of a single target healer. But we did it either way! Good God. Now I collect. Clean operation with a contingency level of at least five. Done. Completed with at least six. Done. 
complete an operation with a contingency level of at least seven in the following site, Baron Plaza. How in the bloody freaking hell am I supposed to do this? on freaking seven let alone eight which is apparently the most difficult wow that is really the, the apparently the most difficult it is the most freaking difficult all friendly units have a minus 50 percent max hp 70 percent defense reduction natural dp regeneration sucks Make the deep, make that, that. And essentially we run it with the same team. Except this time we legitimately need a multi-target healer. And maybe we can do it? Question mark? Please? Oh, for the love of God, this is gonna be a nightmare. I don't like the thought of this mission at all. This mission scares me. Really, really badly. But the fact that they don't have 150% max HP, this shouldn't really be as bad because our tanks always have a high amount of, amounts of health, right? The next year can actually just blast straight through them, so arguably speaking. I should have put Telopsis up front. I'm a moron. In which case, actually, put our tanks there. Because usually Lapland would die first. Make it to where Lapland can still hit the enemies, but not actually take much damage. And then maybe this Let will work out? The only thing I can do is hope and pray. Tundra is better. Wait and hope. Why <laughs> nine? Oh boy. The last is just do it now. Just freaking do it now. Get over with. Lapland apparently able to use her ability, which is not good, and now Salas is able to use hers. Which is arguably even worse. For the love of God, get off of us! Alexia... Should be fine. That plane has her ability, which is ours. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, that plane, don't die, don't die, don't die! Doctor! Let's see it go, go, go! Take out the casters quick! Please, 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 someone freaking get back here! Yes, the free! She's back! We did it! Contingency contract level 8! Oh my good freaking god! I don't even want to imagine what the LLs we're gonna have to do. Oh god. I already see terrible, terrible things happening in the future. Collect at least level 7 and at least level 8. We have completed every single thing we needed to do for the first area of contingency contracts. The next problem is long term. Complete an operation with a contingency level of at least one in the following area, site, area 59 ruins. Unlock a total of one new contingency contract in the following site, area 59 ruins. Challenge contract one, use the following contract combination to complete an operation. 
Uh, six tiles in the map will no longer allow units to be deployed on them. That's two. The DP cost of caster and medic operators is tripled. I don't really ever use casters. Max HP seal. Okay, I can deal with one max HP seal. Casters and medics. The medic part is kind of bad. Six areas in the map. I don't even know what the heck the map looks like. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of freaking uh, stuff here. So, wait, you want me to use all of these? Wait, I have to unlock them now. Yeah, I have to actually unlock the contracts. But which ones did they want me to use? Environment, uh, precipitous terrain two. And last line of defense. Precipitous terrain two and last line of defense. Uh, precipitous terrain two. I should have memorized what they looked like instead. Precipitous train two. And last line of defense. Uh, using only four operators, that's gotta be a major freaking pain in the eyes. Last line of defense, obviously, is the one with one. Okay, so now what do I have to do next? What was the other one? Whoops. The other one was urgent contract. Okay. I can do that. Anti mobility. Really should have looked at what this one was since I only needed one. Caster and medic operators cannot be deployed. Now that's an interesting one, which is something I don't ever want to have to do, but I probably will. Again, this doesn't take sanity, so I'm fine with just trying this. Oh my god. The six you can't use are the ones we need. Of course they are. Now I'm not as uh, <laughs> happy-go-lucky about this. Oh, Jesus. You go right there. This is only level four, so this shouldn't be hard, and we're at least doing a challenge that they've given us. Kuwana, I want you right there. Apollando, I want you right there. Don't oh, let said sword guy get away. Can you use your ability? As long as no one really fully attacks us when we don't have healers, then it's fine. For the record, I will almost never use this six one here. Because I already find this to be just ludicrous that we have to literally use no healers. For the most part, because of how long it takes to get them. Well, let sword guy crush, it uses the ability. Who are you sure so you can tank more? Gotta love the fact that Shiryuki does a lot of arch damage. Otherwise, we'd be in a bit of a pickle here. Yeah. One guy's gone. Alright, Neil, go there. You did a heal. I see your ability. Yeah, you can use yours. Vulcan, go there. Come on, you can't get past Vulcan now. I mean, you literally cannot get past Vulcan. 
It is now an impossible. I have made it so. Abira thought she had the other ability on. No, she did not. She still has the ability I had her use while in Toda Brawl. Only because of that dang rat king. Please, for the love of God, get rid of that caster now, Exia. Exia, get rid of the freaking caster! Well, everyone in backline is kind of screwed. Since its attack is shining now, he'll go there quickly. Who want to use your ability? Did you keep yours? And we managed to do what the challenge wanted us to do. Nadia continues to level 4 on this area with the exact challenge. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now I will gladly go to my contracts and collect every last one of these that you want me to for right now. Thank you for all the points. So level 5 is the next thing we have to do there. Unlock a total of 4 contingency contracts in the following site, Area 59. Now here's the problem. Do I keep showing this? I mean, it's technically trial and error for me for the most part. I mean, I could. But I mean, it's the same map as well. And I won't ever really get an answer out of anyone that I ask. Because this is a going up for quite a while. Oh my god. Challenge contract 2. Use the following contract combination. Precipitous terrain 3. Activation 2. And last line of defense. So 10 tiles in a map will... Ten, 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 ten tiles on the map will no longer be used. All enemies gain 60% max HP. I mean, that's at least a lot better than 150%. But 10? Does that also include melee? Or does that include all the ranged and we can only use melee? And if we can literally only use freaking melee, oh my god. God, that would freaking suck. I mean, it might be possible, but I... The only arts damage deal in melee I have is Lapland. Oh, God. If anything, what's in the store? I don't really know. We have 5,000 contract bounty already. Pretty nice. Oh, it's a Sieg skin. But here's the problem, do I do I prioritize the skin? Or do I actually go for mats? Because look, all of these down here are infinite. All of these are infinite. So wait, what's 85 times 5,000? That's 425,000 freaking Lungman dollars we'd have. Obviously I would never freaking do it, I'm not that stupid. I mean, technically speaking, I guess you would want to get the stuff that has, you know, a, a limit. And then you can go for the infinite resources afterwards. I mean, technically speaking, I don't really need any of this. The RMA7012s I would need. The polyester packs, sure, I could use some of them. Experience I can get easily. It's that, that's no big deal. Manganese trihydrates are a must. Grindstone pentahydrates are a must. White horse coal also, and bipolar nanoflakes. I made four of those. Okay. Oh my god. I could have just since I didn't even freaking get Angelina to E2 yet. I literally could have just got these and I would have been able to get her to E2. That is what I'm thinking of, right? That you need to get her to E2 with? Operator Angelina. E2. Yep. It is. Oh, wait, sorry. I have five. I accidentally made one extra. 
Well, I already had one. I don't remember. Either way, I pretty much made one extra. Oh, God. The only th thing I can see that I possibly would need would be Angelina's accelerator field and anti-gravity so that she can slow enemies down. That's literally one of the only things I can see that I would need Angelina for. I mean, a part-time job to be able to heal as well would be really freaking nice. Because she'd be able to damage and heal, which would be something we would kind of really want at this point. Albeit I could have leveled up someone else I have. What, what exactly do I need to E2 Shining? Exactly what I would need for Angelina. Minus the uh, order on blocks. And plus the medic dual chips, which I don't have. Eh, I mean, who exact? Oh yeah. Apparently this Sieg skin makes her dab. Why? <laughs> Just why? Again, I, I, I could. I don't, I don't really know what I, I. I need to spend sanity. Either way. I guess since this is long enough, I'm going to end this first episode of Contingency Contract here, seeing as how we've already done the daily that we would need to do. Long term, we have 13 days, 5 hours. The daily, I'll record an episode for each daily of every area. But, I don't currently know what to do. I might watch other videos of people talking about contingency contracts to learn more about it, because I still honestly don't really know. I just know that a lot of people were scared for it. Especially contingency contract level, I think, 17 or 18? I think that's where people were really, really scared to do. So, yeah. I'm at a loss as to, as to how I should go about this. So, with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next one. Which will be another contingency contract episode when the next one actually unlocks for... After the refresh is done. And then maybe we can get more contract bounty points. And hopefully be able to get enough stuff in the contingency contracts for stuff in the future because honestly I mean I don't necessarily need to do this I technically got what I kind of want which is the seed skin so I don't need to push myself hard all I need is at least a bipolar nano flakes and I'm pretty much set pretty much everything else is either hit or miss Yes, I need them, but do I want to destroy myself for them? That's something neither here nor there. So yeah, till then, see you guys later.